grace us with his, with his presence and he will give us a short reminder um, after which we'll be collecting the donations. So we waited to get, collect the donations after we <laughs> we get the get behind to give his reminder. Inshallah, um, <laughs> all the all the funds I'm going to mention, all the funds that we raised will be going straight to charity. Um, any admin costs that was all covered by us. So inshallah, please uh, please dig deep. So I'm gonna pass it on to Doctor Doctor Hani. If you wanna if you wanna record, please feel free. Inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Alhamdulillah, I enjoyed the discussion very much. I was not tired, but I'm revising my thoughts, revising my body, and improving the capacity of the dimension of my thinking. Do you understand what I'm talking about? I don't. <laughs> What's the relation between X factor? <laughs> X. X. You know, I, yeah, I guess. EX. EX. They both left the place to try something. They both left the place to try something. Okay. Expatriates are here to make the change. If you don't make the change, you are a failure. Have no value in life. Because you have to bring added value to the community that you are visiting and you are guiding and you are trying to develop. These are the expatriates. Expatriates are the people who are making the change. You when you know the X Factor program, the change maker. Muslims never live in this life in a credible way unless he or she are becoming change maker. Don't consider yourself a believer if you don't make the change. Don't consider ourselves a believer. If we don't meet the challenge, don't consider ourselves our believer. Ramadan is coming in a few days. If we don't stand, stand up for humanity, call yourself a Muslim. Call myself a Muslim, but not a believer. The distinction between Muslim and the believer is very clear. I can pray, I can fast, I can make Hajj. Uh, I can make shahada, I can give zakat, but I'm not a believer, I'm a Muslim. This is what we don't want any and each one of us who consider themselves expatriates, who consider themselves truly believers. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu aminu. Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding the Muslims, the believers, to increase the depth of their belief. So don't come and tell me, I make 10 times hajj. 50 times Hajj, I'm a believer. No. If you are not becoming, like the Prophet ﷺ, change the concept of love, care, compassion for humanity, we're not believers. We are not believers. We are not believers. The President was talking about Asia. Let me talk about women in Islam. And we can put ourselves next to the women in Islam. What they have done, and what we are doing, and what we have failed to do. Our, the daughter, or the, the hairdresser, of the daughter of fair, what they have done, not only for themselves, not only for their family, but for humanity. When Prophet ﷺ was in heaven, it smelled a beautiful perfume or scent. And they told Hazrat Jibreel where it's coming from. He said, this is from the grave of the hairdresser. Not the hairdresser, the woman was actually a kumbi, the daughter of Fair. What her story as a woman? Mr. Brother, with beard, short trouser, whatever code of dress we have. Does make a difference. 
Her husband was the believer. Mu'min Ali Fir'aun was defending Musa alayhi salam. And when she was combing the hair of the daughter of Pharaoh, the comb fell down and she said something, oh my God. And the daughter told her, my father I said, no, 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 big no, which is the depth of the belief in her heart, in, the, in her heart. It's my Lord. Your father is not my Lord. This is where the believer declares her or his belief without caring of the wrong consequences that might affect her or him. My Lord is the Lord of Moses. She told her, I will report you to my father. She said, do whatever you want. She has five children. And Pharaoh told her, if you don't believe in me as a God, I will boil your children in boiling oil. Throw them one by one. This is the price of belief by a woman, Mr. Men. Thousands of years ago. So when we talk about Islam, we say that we are Muslims. When we talk about the belief, we talk about this woman. One by one, they were thrown, her children, in front of her eyes, into the boiling oil. Before you throw her into the same destiny, you know what she told them? I want to request something from you. They said, what? He said, make my grave is, why, is the same grave of my children and put our bones together. She never have a blink of eye when her children were thrown into the boiling oil. This is the price of a man. Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu aminu. Ramadan is coming. Whether you like it or not, whether you pay the cat or not, whether you pay sadaqah or not, can we stand to this woman next to her? Can we stand up to the value of the belief in the heart of a woman who is remembered forever in the Quran and who the Prophet identified the beautiful saint in heaven when he went there? The same happened to his wife, the wife of Pharaoh. When she was arguing with Moses, with, with, with Pharaoh, about this lady, about others, she said, if you are not going to follow me and to stop this, I bring your family to you. He said, do whatever you want. You know what he did to her? As another woman, woman Islam. Now you know what, how we treat our woman? We only put them in shaded place. Treat them like, I don't want to say the say, second class citizen. Sometimes treat them badly. Sometimes don't empower them. Sometimes beat our daughters. Curse our daughters. Curse our wives and they kill our mothers. I'm talking about myself. I'm not talking about anyone of you. He nailed her legs and her hands in the middle of the desert in Cairo, in Egypt. Whatever they call the place in Egypt. And he told her, if you don't believe in me as a Lord, I am going to bring this big stone rock and smash your head and smash your body. What she said? And Allah responded swiftly. Oh, Allah built a house for me in heaven and saved me from Pharaoh and his people. In a split of a second, she saw her palace in heaven and she was smiling and laughing to Allah. And Pharaoh was telling her, see people, 
See people, she's a mad woman. She doesn't believe me and she's smiling while I'm throwing her with a big rock. Before the rock falls in her head, she dies and her soul risen to Allah. Ramadan is given to us to be the exalt believer. I'm just mentioning the woman to let myself to rise or to be elevated to the standard of the man. My son, let me come forward. Investment is here. Investment is here. Not in computer. Not in iron, what do you call it? Real estate. Not in what do you call it? Equity and equity. What do you call it? What, what, what do you call it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? This is the highest reward. This is the highest reward. We ignore our children by just giving them some tools to play with, but not working on their brains and their hearts. We invest in land, but not in the future, but in building generation, but in building community, but in building society, but in building humanity. We need to become believers. And the chance now is Ramadan. And the challenge is, when brothers talk about taqwa, where is taqwa? Taqwa is here. Taqwa is here. Taqwa is not here. Taqwa is not in the coat of dress. Taqwa is not in the color of your beard and or the mascara which you put in our eyes. Taqwa is not in burda. Burka or burka? Burka. Or hijab. Taqwa is here. And taqwa is action. Taqwa is action. Iman is action. Islam is action. What we have done to the community reflects how deep is our Iman in our heart. I want you to raise as much fun as for you. Not for me. Charity does not need you. At all. Because every penny counts. Every penny counts. Prophet said, Al Qaim al Armala al Miskin, Kal Saim al Ladi la Yuftir, Wal Qaim al Ladi la Yuftir. The one who stand up to look after the Miskin and the widow is the one who stand up the whole of his life, day and night, to pray for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Or the one who fasts all his life, or her life, for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What few pennies, or few million riyals and other will do for us? Investment is here, and the investment, you know where? Anybody can tell me what is this? It's my again, friend. Souvenir? St. George's. St. George's. St. Michael. Uh, Sabernita. Sabernita. You know, one of the girls in Sabernita, the most beautiful girl in the city, the soldier said, keep her for me. Put her on the third floor. We come for her. Systematic way. I'm telling us to feel the agony of the people who stood for us to become expatriate. And the girl could not be able to take it. She jumped from the window and she died. People will argue and say that she died as a kafir because she committed suicide. But you have to understand the psychological situation and the psychopath which affected her before somebody come and rape her systematically as a group. You know this woman, you know this woman, stood up for us 
to be here. Not only pay some few dollars or few pounds, 100,000, whatever it is, they give their life to make us expat. So what we give back as believers it is something to be questioned by ourselves. Because Prophet Salaam said, Attaqwa The best hour of the day is the Sahar. The last one or two hours before Fajr. That's right? When me and you, or you and you, talk to Allah privately. Not in a mosque. Not in a hajj. And this is what the investment comes back to us. I'm not going to beg you to give money. Because you need to give. I don't need to stretch my hand. Seven million displaced Syrian inside Syria. Five or six or seven outside Syria. In Yemen, 20 million or more under poverty level. And so on. And so on. And so on. And what you look at it, in, your, in, in China, in Bangladesh, talks about that, nearly one million from the Rohingya people are there. Just give them some money. Huh? Some, it is. Well, I'll just conclude by saying the verse, the, 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 not the verse, the surah. The surah of Al Ma'un. Ayat al-Ladi yukadduhu bil-Din. The one who denied the day of judgment. ذلك الذي يدعو على الجيم 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 ولا يحد على طعام المسكين You know what I want from you? ولا يحد does not advocate for the cause of the needy You know what I want from you? Brother, you want me to say it? I don't want your money Keep it for you You want to stand up? Stand up for the miskin Advocate for it Stand up for the right Stand up for the justice for them the miskin, the miskin, the miskin, the miskin. That's what the Prophet was telling Jibreel uh, uh, Allah Allahumma hshurni fi zumarat al-masakeen. When you stand up for the miskin, you stand up for the Prophet who was your team. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is Ramadan. And Ramadan not only one month. Make Ramadan every day of the month. Every day of the year. Every day of the life. This is Ramadan. This is Ramadan, and this is my future. What's your name? Dawood, King David. Are you King Solomon? Who's your father? So to conclude, the night of giving is the night of forgiveness, is the night of mercy, is the night of compassion, is the night of saving me not the children, not the miskin. I am the most needy, I am the most miskin. Please, brothers and sisters, money is the least you give, but feeling is the maximum you share. Feeling. My daughter was systematically raped. If my house is burned down and become a displaced or a refugee, if my mother her throat is cut off. If I don't have any credibility or any respect, I live, and this is the feeling that I want from me and myself to raise our feeling towards humanity. Because Prophet ﷺ has been given the message to become Rahmatan للعالمين. not Rahmatan to Quraysh or to the Arabs, or to the North African, or to the Pakistani, or to the Indian. Rahmatan lil alameen forever. And each one of us, if we want to be raised, risen to the level of being believers, we have to bring the mercy to alameen. To every human being, or every creation of God. Come on, brother, raise your money. Come on, take your money. You are raising one million, two <laughs> million, five million, hundred million. Brothers, I know the, there's a there's a minimum. Thank million. you, brother David. <laughs> so, when you, um, I think, well, after we do the presentation, yeah. after, after the presentation, 
Um, the brother here is going to collect the money, so obviously... No, no, he's collecting the money now. Oh, you want to collect the money? Now! <laughs> okay, so... Hey, yo! Yo! Hey, yo! Stop, 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 stop